What's going on everybody? I'm D Thomas from NC, back with another video and today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing on the Streets of Rage 4 Classic Edition for the PlayStation 4. Now I placed this order with Limited Run Games back in April. It has been a long four month wait. Since then, the retail physical version has come out and I have played the game because I am a member of Xbox Game Pass. The game is phenomenal, but I couldn't wait to get my hands on this Classic Edition. So we're about to go ahead and take a look at that. If you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for all things gaming. Plus, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, so here is the box. On the side right here, you see it has limited run games. Also right here, I have my handy dandy unboxing knife. So let's go ahead and open this on up. Come across. Trying to do this the best way so I don't accidentally cut myself. Right here, and then let's go ahead and hit that right there. Throw this knife to the side. Let's go ahead and open this on up. Brown paper, toss that to the side. Got some bubble wrap. Let's toss that to the side as well. And right here, oh my gosh. Now this looks pretty dope. Let me try to angle it right so the reflection won't be on there. But look at this. Genesis does what Nintendo don't. I like the way this pays homage to the Sega Genesis cartridge, man. Like the case. Check this out. So on the front right here, Streets of Rage 4. All right. On the side, Streets of Rage 4 Genesis. Okay. And flipping it on the back, you got that. Uh, you got the gameplay screenshots and things of that nature. Okay. So let me take all this stuff out of the box. See what else we got down in here. Move this box out of the way. We're going to sit this to the side for now. All right. Let's see. So. We got the Streets of Rage 4 Limited Run Games exclusive track selection. So we got the actual soundtrack. That is pretty dope. Uh, we got a total of 18 tracks. That's dope. Put that to the side. Okay, right here, got the Limited Run. I guess it's a trading card or whatever. <laughs> Flip it over on the back, it has Limited Run. All right, put that to the side. And what is this? Um, okay, hold on. This is a poster of some sort. Oh, uh, okay. So, limited run games, brawler lineup, collect them all, more to come. So, this is just showing you all of the physical games that they have made. Shouts out to the PS Vita and Guacamole. <laughs> Guacamole. But this is pretty. I like this, man. I really do. Flipping it over on the back. And you can, ooh, River City Girls and Beyond. Really hot game that I need to check out. Brawler overview. So this is, this is, I'm liking this. I'm really loving this. A lot of things if you want to read, you can do that. So let's go ahead and get ready to open up the actual game. Man, they definitely give you a lot this is a great <laughs> this is a good bang for your buck okay so uh let's put this down trading card got the uh, actual game let's go ahead and open up this case what did i do with my unboxing knife well art thou unbox okay here it is <laughs> here it is so let's go ahead and okay get that out the way let's go ahead and open this up got the plastic off okay so let's open this thing up I gotta use a little force, bro. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just wanna make sure I'm not breaking anything. I don't wanna mess nothing up. Bruh. I can't seem to get it open. Stop being so weak. Oh, I didn't wanna break anything. I didn't know what was in here. So, okay, all right. So we got it open, and you got the actual physical copy of Streets of Rage 4. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a different cover from what the actual retail, you know, you get in Walmart or something like that. I don't know. If I'm not mistaken, this is different. And let's see, P215. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have to check it out and see what's inside of here. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this is the steel book. So let's pull this off. Ooh. 
Now that looks nice. That's dope. That's real dope. Definitely worth the wait, man. All right, so let's open this steel book up. Steel case. I like that, man. I really like that. You guys feeling that? <laughs> I know I am. All right, so we got that. Hold on, let me see something. I think this is, let me check this out. Let me see if this is reversible because I think it might be. Let, let me, I don't want to mess this artwork up. Man, this plastic feel like it's on there pretty tight. There we go. Just had to use a little force. And yes, it is reversible. Got the bro knuckle joint. I like that. And <laughs> it's the make Sega Mega Drive. Yo, that's all right. That is all right. The Sega Mega Drive on this side. Then you got the Sega Genesis on that side. Okay, that's dope. Let me slide this back in there real quick and lay this all out. Man, this was definitely a great purchase, guys. I mean, I know the game has been out for a while and a lot of you guys probably already finished it, but this is pretty dope. So you got that, you got that Genesis case. You got the steel book. You got the soundtrack, this poster with all these other games that they've been working on. You got this card right here and let's, let's open up this right here. Let's open this up and see File that plastic to the side. Mm, Streets of Rage game. Oh, and I can tell already, this cover right here is reversible also. Oh, this is the bare knuckle joint. <laughs> I think I said brawl knuckle earlier. This is the bare knuckle side that you get with the PS4. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the retail uh, physical version you get is, I think it's a different artwork. If it is, you know, I'll, I'll put it up on screen. But yeah, this is nice, man. This is really nice all right limited run i see you and also guys you get this awesome looks like an instruction manual let me slide this back inside real quick look at this this instruction manual is kind of thick well it seems thin on camera but yo it's pages up in here so you know you open this up look at this table of contents Full manual. You got the characters in here. Little backstory. Look at this. You don't see that in modern day gaming. I mean, you go buy a physical game, you'd be lucky if you do get an instruction manual. But to see this, I'm liking this, man. You got the little enemies up in here, the names. I mean, how many pages is this? Let's see. Let's go to the back. You got 20. 29 30 pages look this is dope so i feel that this was definitely well worth the wait all this you get on the inside of this classic edition bundle isn't that amazing guys definitely well worth the wait so let me let me see if i can get everything in frame i don't so all right so you got Physical game, you got this poster, you got the steel case, you got the, the clamshell holder with the Genesis, that's reversible artwork, as well as the reversible artwork on here. Uh, you got this Streets of Rage 4 limited run trading card and the actual soundtrack. That is amazing. I'm loving this bundle right here. And uh, this is like my third or fourth time um, shopping with limited run games. And uh, I will definitely be a returning customer. I just hate it that it took so long to get here, but I can see that it is definitely well worth the wait. All right, guys, so there you have it. Streets of Rage 4 Classic Edition on the PlayStation 4 in all of its glory. I must say that this was definitely well worth the wait. I love what Limited Run did with this, with the packaging, as well as everything that came inside with the steel bookcase, the poster, as well as the instruction manual that's fully colored. I mean, you cannot beat this. This was definitely bang for your buck. And I wish nowadays in 2020 that more games would do this whenever you buy a physical version, you would get an actual 
actual instruction manual because I missed that. Anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this unboxing, show some love. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.